how to make your own gas at home. Start with a can of these. You can add a little bit of water. It's a strange process. If you add too much water, you'll never get it out. So just add a little at a time. I also like to throw a little of that in there. And then heat over medium heat. And stir occasionally. Get it mixed really well before you let it sit. And then you can add more water if it's too thick for your taste or you can't take away water if it's too runny though. So I don't recommend adding water unless you really are 100% sure that that's too thick. And it's amazing how this will start out like this and it'll turn into nicely crumbly hamburger meat. Don't beat your meat too bad. Don't forget to stir your beans. And then I recommend something like this. You heat this up medium heat. So you want this preheated. And for some reason this pan, it takes a long time to warm up. So it's usually best to turn it on long before you're needing to do it. Then these, you throw on there 30 seconds, flip it 30 seconds, flip it again 30 seconds. They say approximately. And when it starts to kind of poof up, it's done. And then you see this is starting to cook. And I'm gonna have to pull that grease out. This is the only way my wife says I'm allowed to drain grease, which is take a spoon and tilt up the pan and basically scoop it out. So since she says that's the way to do it, that's the way I do it. So if you beat your meat properly and drain it, it'll look like this. If it were me, I would put a slice of American cheese, maybe two in there and stir it in but my wife would never allow that. <laughs> so I'll have to do that to my own serving. And there's the ground beef. The tortillas are in there staying warm. And then obviously you can top it with whatever else you like. 
For me, I usually just do cheese. And then mix the ingredients. Eat that and you will have gas within 30 to 60 minutes usually. That's how you make your own gas at home for real cheap.